tonight. Law enforcement officers in Alabama want the public to know what they're doing to prepare for an active shooter situation. WIET 42 News reporter Mike McClanahan takes us to Montgomery to look inside this unique training session. Inside one of state law enforcement's most high tech training tools, a law enforcement simulator that can reproduce real life stressful situations, including an active shooter. And we are starting. Holding a pistol with electronic sensors, I was immersed in a virtual world with 360 degrees of potential threats and helpless victims. The simulator puts you under pressure, gets your adrenaline flowing, and lets you know with an electronic shock if you would have been shot in real life. Police and deputies also undergo real world training at schools and other locations. At this point, 67% of all sworn officers in Alabama have had some sort of active shooter training. Not only do we uh, physically train our officers, but uh, these are well-trained police officers and state troopers, and they're mentally trained and prepared to, uh, for what may come our way. More than 18,000 civilians in the state have taken the run, hide, fight training, according to ALEA Chief of Staff Hal Taylor. It takes roughly 12 minutes for police officers and SWAT teams and the trained people to respond and to be on the scene of an active shooter situation. So. Time is very crucial, and that, that hiding for a couple of minutes may just save your life. Aliyah says their agents will continue to train, hoping they never have to face an active shooter situation here. In Montgomery, Mike McClanahan, WIAT 42 News. Coverage you can count on. We appreciate their hard work. The FBI, by the way, will be hosting an active shooter training conference for law enforcement, public safety personnel, and the private sector. It's happening next month. The conference will be December 15th. It's actually happening next week. December 15th at Boutwell Auditorium.